Hey Bronco Nation, I'm Jordan. We're here at King of the Hammers in beautiful Johnson Valley, California, bringing you another walk around of a 2021 Ford Bronco. This one being a four-door wild track in race red. Lots of cool things uh, that may be on the Badlands, may not be on the Badlands, ton of different features, some optional, some standard. We're gonna talk about the price point, the drivetrain, my impressions of it, got to ride in it, got to even drive it a little bit. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. First thing I wanna address is uh, the Wild Track and what some of the things you get when you order the Wild Track. And first off, that is the gloss black or the painted black grill. Now in the Badlands that we talked about a few weeks ago, you get a carbonized gray grill, but on this one, it's the gloss black. Now it's the same grill design. I believe there's about 128, 120 openings here on the grill. It's my personal favorite design and this color is my personal favorite. I actually have a Wild Track on order that's spec very similar to this. But I think the gloss black, especially against this race red, really pops, really stands out. Moving around, you also have the gloss black painted mirror caps, and eventually, once they become available, you'll be able to get the gloss black modular hardtop as well. Unfortunately, at launch, you can only get the MIG top, but do not fear, gloss black painted modular hardtops are coming. So that's just a neat accent that can differentiate uh, wild track from your Badlands. You also get these same things, or these same um, color, I should say, on first edition, but we'll talk about that in another video. Tying into the gloss black accents, we'll move around to this side. You also get the painted gloss black 17 inch wheels with the painted gloss black beauty ring. Wild Track comes standard with a Sasquatch package. So you are the 17 inch beadlock capable wheels with the 35 inch tires. That leads us into pricing. There's been a lot of questions. You know, Wild Track is more expensive. It, while it is the most expensive Bronco Sans first edition, but those are sold out, it's not the most capable. So that's something to keep in mind. And the reason for the price differentiation is because of the standard equipment it comes with. So it comes standard with your Sasquatch package. It comes standard with the 2.7 liter V6 engine tied to the 10-speed uh, automatic transmission uh, and a few other standard features. So why you're saying, okay, you know, it doesn't have rock crawl mode, for instance. It doesn't have uh, the rock rails or the rock sliders like the Badlands does. Um, it is more expensive because of those standard operating equipment, if you want to call it. Now, the reason for all this is because this vehicle, Wild Track, is geared a little bit more towards um, kind of Baja racing, if you want to call it that. So fast through the desert. We were doing a little bit of that yesterday. It's not meant necessarily for rock crawling and um, kind of the wheeling as people call it here at King of Hammers. Um, but it is meant for kind of bashing through the desert, more Baja style racing. It does have sport mode and Baja mode as opposed to the Badlands um, has rock crawl mode instead of sport mode. So they're just, those are just some differentiations to keep in mind uh, when you're ordering your Wild Track. Diving back into the appearance of the Bronco uh, Wild Track, you do get the signature LED headlamps, which I know a lot of people have talked about. They look fantastic in my opinion. So you will get those with the Wild Track. You also get this uh, little dusty, but this Wild Track hood graphic. I know there's been a bit of controversy. Some people love it, some people hate it. It's a bit pol polarizing. I personally don't mind it. Again, I think it um, contrasts nicely with this race red, but it's all gonna come down to the color you choose. Another thing you get on Wild Track is the body colored handle. So again, these are race red. You have your uh, easy entry, easy access um, button here. So if you have the key in your pocket, uh, the intelligent access key that Ford provides, just put your thumb on this lock and unlock button and uh, the doors pop up, pop open rather. Now, because these doors or these windows are frameless, uh, you have a bit of an issue here when it comes to the window glass. So you notice that it slides right into the trim, but if the window were not to pop down, it'd smash into this trim and damage the window or the trim. So kind of like Mustang, when you pop the door open, the window does drop about an inch or two. Uh, and then when you close it, it pops right back up, both to protect the glass and the trim uh, out here. There was some talk early on because these windows, you know, in the early prototypes didn't pop down and so people worry about wear and tear and water getting in, but it seems Ford has addressed this issue uh, with these windows popping down, which is really nice to see. Now again, as with all Broncos, all four doors are removable. Unlike the two door, all four doors actually are removed and can store right in the back. Here we actually have a video on how to take the doors off a little bit earlier on our channel. We'll link it in the card at one of these corners, uh, so make sure to check that out. Continuing on with the parents, lot to talk about with Wild Track. You do have the uh, fender flares that are removable. We showed this in our last video and we'll have a demo video on how to do that soon as well. But these are in carbonized gray. I know a little bit earlier this week, if you're watching this video way in the future, it may not apply. Um, but we noticed a difference in the carbonized gray uh, or the MIC top. Um, 
the color seems to have changed. Now from the early prototypes like the, uh, the Camping Edition, the Area 51 video that we did way long ago, uh, it appeared the texture was a little, um, the grain was a little bit larger and the color was a little bit lighter. And so when we got here to King of Hammers and saw these much more recent prototypes or pre-production models, we noticed that the texture, the grain was a little bit finer and the color was a little bit darker. A lot of people were really excited about that to see um, that it seemed the quality of the appearance had improved and it actually matches these removable fender flares a lot better now. So something to keep in mind, if you're getting an early wild track when the modular uh, gloss black hard top is not available and you wanna get mic top, they are gonna match your fender flares a lot better and you get the wider fender flares because you have the Sasquatch package. So that all kind of ties in together. But nonetheless, even without the gloss black top, I still think this looks really cool. Last thing I'll talk about on appearance before we move on to some more, uh, to some other features. We do get the gloss black pony. Again, it used to be gloss black, it's a little dustier now. This is my favorite pony badge. Moving on to the back here, I realized last night, this is kind of the first true four-door walk-around we've did. We did the Overland build walk-around way back in October, uh, but that had a ton of stuff in the back. So this is the first time we're actually getting a good look at the back. Now I mentioned over there, you do have intelligent access or the intelligent key. So if you have your Bronco key in your pocket uh, and the car is locked, you can just put your thumb here, car unlocks, tailgate swings open without having to click the unlock button. As mentioned previously, you do have two positions for this tailgate. There's a 90 degree position, and then it can open up all the way to about 150 degrees, allowing you to get in to load stuff really easily with this tailgate out of your way. Also, as I mentioned, um, you can store all four doors back here. So again, there's a video, remove all four doors. They have these really nice door bags, and then they kind of, there's a matrix strap system thing that you can uh, put them all in here to make sure they're secure and safe when you're out on the trail so you don't have to strap the doors, chain them to a tree or something, or leave them in your garage. Uh, it allows you to be really adaptable to the weather, to the conditions. If you're off-road off, uh, off road and then you go on-road, whatever you want to do, it just allows for a little bit um, more adaptability to whatever scenario you are in. Now again, as I mentioned in the two-door video, there is a bit of a uh, bump here between the rear cargo area and where these seats fold down. I'll demonstrate that once we go around. But you can see this is a nice area. This wild track does come standard with carpet. You don't get the washout floors like you do with the marine grade vinyl on the Badlands. So this is carpeted. The back of these seats are carpeted as is this load floor. You have your uh, roadside assistance kit. You got your jack. Now this is a scissor jack. Uh, you also have your emergency fuel flow, which I may or may not have had to use one or two times. Uh, and then your other little roadside accessories. Hopefully you don't need that uh, anytime you're out with your Bronco. Also have a little bit of a storage area here if you wanted to put something so it didn't roll around or muddy boots. Do have a subwoofer back here. This wild track does have the upgraded Bang & Olufsen uh, b and Play audio system that comes with 10 speakers. Uh, and this is gonna be your subwoofer. Also got your 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter back here. Little Bronco uh, light to illuminate the area. It has a little Bronco emblem on it, which is cool. And then your four lasso attachments down here that you can strap your doors into. Or if you have a cargo management system, they latch really easily onto here as well, which is awesome. Now, before we hop into the back row, I do wanna mention, uh, a some of you may have seen this, but for those who are new to Bronco, one of the Easter eggs Ford put in here is on the top of the gas cap area, or the fuel area, uh, you have three depictions or three kind of engravings of uh, early generation Broncos, which is cool, a nod to the heritage of this vehicle, where it came from and where it's going. So a nice little Easter egg for you to check out when you get your very own Bronco. Another thing to mention, as all Ford vehicles do, this has the easy fuel system, which I know and love. It's funny when you get into a much higher end vehicle uh, that can you know, top well over $100,000 and you have to remove the fuel cap. I know it's a first world problem, but Ford thought through everything and the easy fuel certainly makes your life easier. Continuing on to the interior, we do have the sandstone leather option on this wild track. There's also an optional uh, digitized camo cloth that's dust hiding. I know that's been a bit controversial too. My spec, I'm gonna go with the leather. It's kind of a nice beige color with black inserts or black lining, whatever you wanna call it. Um, looks really nice in here. It feels premium, the leather feels nice. Uh, with the leather, you also do get these drop down center console, center armrest with two cup holders, which is great. Good to see Ford put cup holders in here. Again, you do not get this on the marine gray vinyl options. So that's another perk of getting uh, leather on your spec. Doing a back seat test like we did in the two door, the seat in front of me is adjusted for someone my height. So 6'1", 6'1", uh, sitting back here. And you can see plenty of knee room, probably at least six inches. Now the top's off, 
So the headroom is uh, unlimited, but with the top on sat in here yesterday, you do still have a solid five to six inches of headroom, which is really nice. Roomy back here, these seats almost feel like they're kind of in a stadium seating configuration. So you do sit up a little bit higher, have a nice vantage point out the front. Uh, you can even see over the hood a little bit, see those trail sites on the corners of the hood up there. Really comfortable place to be. These seats, the bottom is a little, is pitched up a little bit, so it lifts uh, your thighs. So it is a bit more comfortable than if they were flatter. So you don't feel like you're scrunched in here. Definitely more room than the competitors, I will say that. Down here, you do have USB-A and C port. You also have your 110 kind of standard house style outlet, uh, and then your window up and down switches, which is great. Gonna fold the seats down because I know a lot of you have asked about that. Little button, the headrest flips forward. There's a latch kind of here on the back of the seat and it folds right down. Again, you can do it on that side too. I'll hop around there and show you guys. Um, so yeah, switch places. Hello again from the other side. Again, push this button, the headrest drops. It's a 60-40 split. You do have these little flaps for the seat electronics. Uh, if you wanna head to the back here, you can see there is that bump again, like there was in the two door. So it is about a four to five inch uh, kind of step up from this bottom load floor to the back of the seats. Um, so if you're going to be camping back here, which you can, you can fit a full size adult. Should I do that? Should I lay back here? Why not? We did it in the last one. Can sit comfortably. Well, kind of comfortably. If the roof's off, you can sit comfortably. But if you're going to sleep, you might want a little extra pad to put under here to make it a level surface. But nonetheless, uh, you can certainly, if you slid these seats up forward, you could fit an adult or two back here. May not be the most comfortable night's sleep, but you could certainly do it. If you're out here in the desert and needed a place to pull over and camp, you can do that. Moving on to the front seat, I've covered a lot of the basics in our Badlands walk around, so I won't rehash those. You can go back and watch that video uh, to see a few more of the nitty gritty stuff on the interior. But with the Wild Track, you do get the mid package standard, which doesn't have all the luxury features that this Wild Track has. For example, on the mid package, you, it comes down with the eight inch screen as opposed to um, the 12 inch screen that you see here. The 12 inch screen is available with the high and the Lux package. Personally, if you're into tech like I am, I believe I said it in the last video, but the 12 inch screen looks fantastic. You have your off-road features. You can see uh, you know, your pitch, your tilt, your steering angle, all that sorts of good stuff. You also have uh, your cameras, which look fantastic on this huge screen, multiple different angles. You can see a wide view, kind of a fisheye out the front. You can just see your general front and then you have a 360 camera, which is my personal favorite. Obviously the doors are open here, so it's a little bit skewed. Now the cameras do activate automatically in certain uh, goat modes. For example, with Baja mode, you switch it over there and the front view camera automatically turns on so you can see where you're going. Now again, this one doesn't have rock crawl mode, but on vehicles that do have the rock crawl goat mode, um, there's this really cool tire view so it's actually there's cameras mounted under the mirrors here looking straight down at the tires uh, so you can see where your tires are it also has steering angles or steering kind of treads where the vehicle is predicting that you're going to go so you can see where exactly you are so you don't curb rash your wheels although i guess it's a bronco so you're kind of going to beat it up anyway Moving on, more features in the Wild Track with the High and Lux package is you do get dual zone automatic climate control, which is really nice. You do get uh, both heated front seats and a heated steering wheel, which on this uh, chilly day has come in very handy. You also get your wireless charging pad, which is great, USB A and C ports, two cup holders, your four window switches, uh, your child or window lock, your weatherized mirror controls, as I mentioned in the last video. And then up here you have your hero switches. Now you will notice, again, because this is a wild track and not a Badlands, you do not have sway bar or stay bar disconnect. The jury is out on whether it's sway bar or stay bar, but you don't have it here. You do have your front and rear lockers, your trail turn assist, your traction control off, and your hazard switch. Again, these switches um, are kind of weatherized, they're encased in rubber, and the tactile feel on them is really nice. Ford did a fantastic job with these. Again, it's kind of all uh, click on the fly or whatever you wanna call it, so if you're driving down the road, Flip on the rear locker. Um, if you switch to sand mode, the rear locker automatically comes on. You can see it light up there. Same with trail turn assist. You can activate it uh, up to, I believe, 20 miles an hour. Um, and it's kind of a passive thing, so it won't engage until you actually need it. So there's no real downfall to having it. And if the vehicle goes above a certain speed, it deactivates anyway. Got your six aux switches up here. They do light up when they are engaged. Wild Track has these aux switches. Some of the lower trims, you have a sunglass holder here instead of these aux switches. You got your map lights, your visor. We'll do a visor test again. Shout out to the straight pipes. Uh, but it's lit. <laughs> it's lit. It's lighted. Uh, mirror here on both sides. Slides out. All that fun stuff. 
Again, two cup holders. Ford says online that you get six beverage holders in this, which I'm assuming is those two cup holders there, these two here, and then they count these door nets as beverage holders. I wouldn't necessarily put a, uh, like a Starbucks cup in here. It would splash, but if you had a water bottle, hydro flask, something like that, you could certainly put it in there and it'd probably be fine. Again, as I mentioned back there, but I'll mention it again, unlike the marine grade vinyl interior option, these are carpeted and not washout floors, so I'm not gonna dump a cup of water in there. Uh, but it's, again, a little bit more luxurious, if you wanna call it that, or more similar to a typical car. Um, however, out here in the desert, it is gonna get pretty dusty and dirty, so I'd recommend vacuuming it out uh, frequently. Another thing to mention, the steering wheel is leather wrapped. I mentioned it was heated, which is fantastic, again, for chilly days like this, but it is leather wrapped. You got your Bronco emblem right here, and then on the left and the right, you have all your controls. You got your uh, adaptive cruise control, you got your volume controls, you got your kind of sync, voice activation button hang up, all the standard buttons you'd have on most of your Ford products right here comfortably positioned on your steering wheel. This dash is textured, which is nice. Unlike the other one, you can kind of see some of the grain in here it is tying in that sandstone color on the seats. It's more of a grayish beige color. And then you have your uh, grabber blue accents, both in these grab handles, these uh, vent chiclets, grab handle down here all that fun stuff. Again, this is a 10-speed automatic transmission paired to the 2.7 liter V6 twin turbocharged engine up front that we'll go take a look at now. Pull it once there, then you do have your latch under here. You have a hood prop as instead of a gas strut. Nothing too exciting. Uh, it's a Bronco. It's supposed to be uh, beaten up and the engineers and the testers have certainly done that. And these things hold up pretty darn well, I will say. Now standard with Wild Track, you do get um, kind of the standard skid plates, or you can get the upgraded skid plates, or Ford calls them bash plates. I prefer to call them skid plates. Uh, as you can see, these are metal down here. Also standard is LED fog lamps. Now because this is the upgraded modular front bumper, the heavy duty modular front bumper, uh, you can't get the fog lamps, but on the standard bumper, you would get those. And continuing in the theme of the modular front bumper, this brush guard, that is an optional upgrade. Uh, you do have to have this heavy duty bumper, modular front bumper to get the brush guard. So this is all kind of an optional feature set here. Although you do get these two um, heavy duty tow hooks in the front and one in the back as standard. And um, you have your 360 parking sensors built right into the bumper, which is really nice and has certainly saved my butt um, a time or two. One more thing on the exterior appearance, um, you do not get the rock rails or the rock sliders like you can get on Badlands. You can get them as an accessory from your dealer after taking delivery, but not from the factory. However, you can get the um, tube steps, the tube uh, kind of bars that go along here to step up into the vehicle. You can get those as an accessory from the factory. So something to keep in mind, I personally think it looks better um, with either a tube step or rock sliders as opposed to this exposed metal, uh, but to each their own on that one. Couple other features that come standard on this wild track some safety convenience you know comfort features you do get pre-collision assist with active emergency braking so if you're coming up on a car too fast and you aren't paying attention the vehicle will warn you and then if necessary apply braking to save you from rear-ending somebody you also get the bliss blind spot monitoring information system uh, which again has saved my butt multiple times and then you also um, get lane keep assist, which is cool. If you start to drift out of your lane and don't quite notice it, the vehicle will either alert you or based on the settings will nudge you back into your lane. Again, just an added safety blanket when you're driving down the road uh, so you don't damage your precious Bronco. Well, thanks so much for joining us on the walk around of this four-door Wildtrak 2021 Bronco. We hope you learned a little bit and got a little better peek at to what uh, may be in your driveway here in the coming months or the coming year. Again, if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments or go ask them over on our forums at thebronconation.com. I'll be doing my best to answer them both in the YouTube comment section and uh, over on the forum. So wasn't able to cover everything. Um, I'm sure there's things that I missed that you guys have questions about. So again, be sure to remind me and I'll do my best to get you answers on those. If you're not following us already on social media, make sure you're doing that at the Bronco Nation on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you're new to our YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe by hitting the red button down below, down below and giving us a thumbs up. Really helps us out and lets you know that you enjoyed our content, which is super awesome to see. I want to thank you guys so much for joining us. We're going to have more videos coming. We have a first edition walk around. We're going to have Vase, Big Bend, Black Diamond, and Outer Banks all coming over the next month. So make sure, uh, again, you're subscribed so you can find out as soon as those videos post. Until next time, thanks so much for joining us. Take care and we will see you out on the roads. Bye.